Alright, so what's going on guys, it's Crazy Ranger Dakota, and I'm bringing you a brand new Forza Horizon 3 video. And today I kinda got a story, but I also wanna do a little bit of race. I got this car out of a wheel spin, I did a few upgrades to it. Nothing huge, but what we're gonna do while I tell my story, that's an undiscovered PR stunt. Active Championship, Active Championship, and uh... That can be a championship, I believe. Um, it's new, but... I think we're gonna go here. Trail race or scramble? Let's go to this. Mm, let's go to the scramble first. All right. So while we're on the way there, I want to tell you guys a little bit of a story. All right. So honestly, I just got home from work. Obviously, like I always do. And there is a guy that works. He doesn't work at the same place as me, but he works at a place under where I work and he's like the big man he's like the owner or whatever I'm not exactly sure what he does but it's it's in the same building as as my work but he's not working where I work so I pretty much don't talk to many people at that work where I work cuz I mean dude, it's just weird alright plus you don't have a lot of time to socialize anyways I just want to get my shit done and go home but I talk to this dude every single day I talk to him pretty much every single day he's uh, he's always out smoking a cigarette while I get when I get there and I chill and talk to him. The reason why I talk to this guy, like, pretty much every day and nobody at my work, it, he's an older dude, for sure, but he, he's chill because I've seen, he's, he's got a, he's got a GT500, alright, and I got a Mustang. He has, when I bought my 2016 Mustang, there was a 2013 GT500 on the showroom floor at the dealership as I was buying my 2016, and I was staring at him, man, I was taking pictures of it, I loved it. After I bought my Mustang and I go to work, about a week later, that same GT500 shows up. He bought it, straight up. And I know it was him because I talked to him about it and everything. That's the car. That is the same exact car. So I talk to him all the time. I mean, he's a big car guy and he loves Mustangs and he's awesome. And you guys might have seen him. Uh, I don't know if he was in my Gainesville Car Friends video, but I know he was in Zach's Gainesville Car Friends video. Uh, there's a clip of his car, and there's a clip of him talking to me, and there's also, it's him and his son talking to me, and then there's also a clip in Zach's Kaufman Tire vlog about, with me, that, uh, you can see me, like, when I'm coming out of work, you can see me walk past, it's his gray GT500 with the red stripe, you can see me walk past it. I mean, this, I mean, he's cool, he's cool, he's a chill dude, it's not, it's not the only reason I talk to him, he's a chill dude, but he also, he drives a Mustang, come on, man. He has an Expedition, he has a Cadillac CTSV, and he has the Ford Shelby GT500. Alright, he owns this little area, or he, obviously he rents it, but it's his business, it, from what it sounds like, it's his business. And it, it, right in front of the door, there's three parking spots right in front of his door. And the way my whole building place is laid out is you got the building in the middle, then you got parking spots all around it, literally. And then there's inside parking, right right up next to the building. And then there's like parking on the outskirts, obviously. So everybody that works where I work, we're supposed to park on the outskirts, right? We're not allowed to park up near the building because we are the only people upstairs, or maybe there's one other place upstairs, I'm not sure, but I think we're the only place upstairs. Everything else is right down there at the bottom. And so that's parking for customers and everything that wanna go there and people that work there, not for us. All right, I'm gonna start this race real quick. We're in the outback about to kill it i'm trying to keep this story going you know he's got he's got a real nice cadillac and he's got a real nice gt500 so he parks in two spots here's what i do i park on the outskirts yes but i also park in this one spot is it's a huge spot and i park pretty much on the line because the person next to it parks uh the person that parks uh on the spot next to me they park all the way to the side so i pretty much park on the line so i have a huge gap between anybody else i don't want anybody if you're a car person you know this i don't want anybody opening their door and hitting my car or anything like that's that's i don't want that to happen so this dude he pays a ton of money in rent to uh have his business at this place and nobody's allowed to park there aside from him anyway so he parks in two spots just to make sure nobody will hit his cars Right? He has an expedition, and the expedition is all dinged up on the sides and everything because of that parking lot. Now keep in mind, I work with a lot of college students, so a lot of them just don't give a fuck. They don't understand. They don't understand that, hey, we spent our hard-earned money on these cars, and it's our passion, so back the fuck off. No. He parks 
in two different spots so he makes sure nobody will hit him all right he talked to the landlord he's allowed to do that he he, he's allowed to do that. I mean that those are his spots. All right those three spots So it's on the inside of the building So nobody where I work is allowed to park there anyways So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if somebody wanted to park there You're not allowed to park there where I work. So the other day he drove his Cadillac and he got this note on his car um, Saying something along the lines of hey, I like my car too, but don't be a dick stop parking in two parking spots and it's this uh, He said the hand the handwriting looks like 18 to 25 year old girl, you know, like, I mean, you can just kind of tell what a girl's handwriting looks like. And so he kind of like brushed it off. He was like, whatever, somebody's probably just having a bad day. No, no. The next day he drives his Mustang. He drives the Shelby GT500, all right? They leave a note on his car saying, you're still rude for parking. Like they're pretty much being rude. They're like, you're still rude for parking in two spots. What is so special about this car anyways? It's just a Mustang. Okay, first off, it's not just a Mustang, but even if it was just a Mustang, if even if it was my car, my V6, I love it. I have spent my hard-earned money, I've been working on it, and I. it's my passion. It's my baby, and I love it, so it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter if I have a goddamn, hey, I could have an old Cavalier, and I. if it's what I love, it's what I fucking love, all right? It doesn't matter. The car's special to me. But here's the thing. What is so special about this car? Yo, it's a GT500. It's not just a Mustang. It is a $70,000 Mustang. You need to chill, all right? This dude straight up put up a camera, and he has a pretty sure idea who it is because he said a girl, uh, a little short girl with short, dark hair, was, was giving him this weird face whenever he was installing the camera. So he put up a camera so he can catch this person that's just leaving notes on his car because he said he knows what girls are like when they get upset, you know? Because he told me that... At first, he thought about just, you know, parking in one spot. But he was like, no, fuck that. I paid I pay money in rent. These are my spots. I pay, like, I have talked to the landlord. Nobody else is allowed to park here, so I'm going to park however the fuck I want to park. So he put up a camera to catch this person because he knows how girls are. When they get pissed off, man, they start doing some stupid shit like keying bitch into the side of the car. Like, I'm looking at you, Zach. He's taking up two spots in a spot that you're not even allowed to park at. You need to stop, all right? It doesn't matter. You're freaking out over the stupidest little fucking thing. It really does not matter. You're not allowed to park there, all right? He pays for it. That's where he parks. It's his car. It's his parking spot. It's his business. Fuck off, all right? You don't own any of that. I highly doubt it, but if you're watching this video, you need to fuck off, all right? Because I don't like you either. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, there's still a lot of stuff I need to do on this game, guys, and I'm just going to keep grinding away and keep posting videos, and hopefully you guys are enjoying. So... That's been it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Crazy Ranger Dakota. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.